Hi everybody, it's the 39th day of COVID-19 here in Boston, Massachusetts and today we have April 23rd, 2020. We're gonna make a beetroot soup with sweet potatoes and it's quite simple, I mean you have to just heat up all those veggies and then we put it in a blender and add some spices in half and half. So what you need is beetroot, huh? take some nice um, sized ones, possibly big, and some sweet potatoes. Huh? Again, it depends for how many people you're cooking. Um, I'm cooking for three tonight, but I have also virtual dinner with people who are not in Boston, but New York. So yeah, it, it makes basically three total, but five that we have virtual dinners with. And um, an onion is great too, and some half and half. So this amount of soup that I'm making actually is much more because I'm going to freeze some as well. So um, let's just give you an estimate of four people. One big beetroot, two sweet potatoes, half of this onion and probably one of this half and half. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I would start with um, peeling the beetroot and um, then we'll take it from there. And heat up some water right now because we have lots of veggies to cook. So I'm gonna make two pots of hot water. All right, I got a new peeler. We're gonna peel this nice uh, beetroot, huh? just like that. Let me actually show it to you here. Oh, this feels so nice. A new peeler peels amazing. So if you have an old one, it's an investment, it's five bucks. It's really worth it. Perfect. So you do that and see, it's in a heartbeat. The other one would have taken me like, I don't know, 10 minutes for this thing. So what you do want to be careful with beetroot, don't forget, beetroot leaves traces everywhere, also after you ate. so it can cook nicely. You don't want to have two big pieces because again it just takes longer huh? and eventually you want to blend all this together. Huh? Next part, sweet potatoes. Same thing, take the best peeler in the world. So once you've peeled them all, just again cut it into small pieces. Doesn't have to be amazing, but just smaller than what they were before. So it's easier for the blender afterwards, huh? In the meantime, the waters behind me are boiling, huh? So you want to put one each in one pot. Um, if you make food again for like four people, this here is perfectly fine, huh? So one is full of sweet potatoes, the other one of beetroots. The last thing missing now is the onion. Huh? So just take off the skin. And once you have that, you just cut it in half. And that much is fine for four people. Huh? So again, if you just have that, just make it smaller. And this is perfectly fine. So all you're going to put it is just cook it and it gets soft and you blend it with the rest of it. Okay? All right. I think these veggies are pretty ready. Huh? So I just check them with a fork. Just take them once you feel they're really like soft. Huh? Um, what you want to do now, don't just drain that water. Huh? This water is full of vitamins and minerals. So put that through this into something like this here. Because we're going to add that to the soup. Huh? So don't waste it. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and ready is your blender and your vegetables. You're gonna put that all in here. Maybe you need two rounds, huh? Depends a little bit. Maybe we can make it fit. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so 
Now you see I have here the liquid, looks all nice and red. Maybe you gotta add a little bit while it's mixing. So it makes a big noise. Close your ears. to make it run nice and you just want to check if really everything has been made small sometimes you find on the side like a big onion like this huh so just kind of you know help it out a little bit and do that one more time so that you really catch all of them huh once you have that all you do is put it back in the pot and then I'll show you what to do next so once you have the two pots or one pot, however much you make, just heat them up again on very low heat, huh? Because now what happens, it, it's going to bubble and it's going to leave a lot of traces on your nice white stove um, if you have one. And either way, not a good idea. Okay, so let's add now half and half. Um, again, if you're cooking for four or five people or so, see, there we go, it's bubbling. So I'm going to turn it even lower. You want to add one of those half and halves, huh? There we go. Okay. And then we're going to add some salt because remember you have not put anything in there yet. Woo! Do you see? <laughs> I'm going to turn this lower down too. Um, I'll put a little bit of garlic in this one, huh? And pepper. And that's pretty much it, huh? And you're just gonna turn it, stir it, mix it all nicely. And you don't have to, you know, let it sit for too long so that your kitchen stays nice. But um, you can, and obviously there's a cover. <laughs> All right, here is our wonderful beetroot soup with sweet potatoes and an onion. This is for my dear neighbor Jeff, and we're going to have virtual dinner with our dear friends from New York, which, as you all know, is unfortunately the hotspot of the coronavirus right now. So I am very curious. Um, ooh, it's getting hot. Um, what stories they have on the current situation and hopefully we can all figure out a way how to get through this. Here I have a bread that I just put in the toaster that works really well with a little bit of butter and that's pretty much it. Dinner with my neighbor. And if you've liked what you've seen today, the beetroot soup with sweet potatoes, please feel free to share it online. It's called a dinner with my neighbor and it should really encourage you all to do the same. Exchange recipes during these times, cooking with each other virtually and deliver food to each other. Huh? That you can still do. Huh? So you just drop it in a bag, Tupperware nicely and leave a note, text, um, food delivered. And um, you share it online, whatever you feel most comfortable with each other and still um, keep having dinner with each other, share conversations, share your concerns, your worries, your doubts, whatever you go through during this time with each other. It really, really helps to keep us healthy and sane. And I hope this helped you to give you some new ideas for cooking. And um, yes, so um, I'm actually, I'm a passionate chef or, you know, love to uh, cook for others. Um, but that's not really what I do as a living. I'm a freelance musician. I compose music and I'm a singer myself. Um, and I have a website and it's called GabriellaMartina.com. And you can find my um, compositions that include Swiss traditional folks music um, mixed with jazz, R&B, soul, etc. 
and due to the COVID-19 I have lost all my income and if you're one of the lucky ones who still can work from home um, uh, I would appreciate any kind of donation to get through this crisis. Thank you so so much and hopefully see you tomorrow again.